Welcome to this course on the principles and foundations of management information systems. I'm Gary Templeton, your professor for this course. I'm excited to embark on this journey of exploring the dynamic and transformative world of management information systems with each of you. In this course, we'll delve into the strategic integration of technology to enhance organizational processes. Management information systems play a pivotal role in modern businesses, influencing decision-making, fostering innovation, and driving efficiency. I bring 30 years of experience and a passion for the intersection of technology and business. As your guide through this course, my aim is to provide you with a comprehensive understanding of MIS and its impact on various industries. This presentation will overview the course including the significance of management information systems and associated technologies. I will also overview the broad sections of the class and their salient topics. I hope you enjoy the class. This presentation will unveil some foundational terminology pertaining to the course. Computers are specifically the physical devices or machines that process data. It includes components like the central processing unit or CPU, memory, storage, and the input-output devices. Information technology, or IT, refers to a broad range of techniques and tools associated with information processing in organizations. IT includes observable organizational capabilities such as computer hardware, software, and networks used to process, store, and transmit information. Management Information Systems, or MIS, involves the organizational effort at leveraging IT for organizational performance. Managers constantly make decisions as they guide the organizational system to enhance a wide array of organizational performance aspects. MIS can help the organization enhance its brand, operational efficiency, strategic positioning, and adherence to standards and regulations. MIS involves considerations for the use and development of systems aimed at providing relevant and timely information to support decision making in all functional areas and the operational, tactical, and strategic levels of an organization. How are IT and MIS different? In short, IT refers to the tools while MIS refers to the organization's effort at exploiting those tools for its advantage. MIS is a broader term involving endeavors by people in organizations. MIS is the strategic management of IT and its capabilities for organizational purposes. Three phenomena should motivate anyone to study management information systems. First, Moore's Law is an observation made by Gordon Moore, co-founder of Intel in 1965. Moore's Law states that the number of transistors on a microchip and consequently the processing power of computers doubles approximately every two years. This observation has held true for several decades and has been a driving force behind the rapid advancement of technology. Second, the economic impact of information technology refers to the influence that technology has on economic activities, productivity, and growth. IT has revolutionized industries by improving efficiency, enabling innovation, creating new business models, and enhancing global connectivity. It contributes significantly to economic development, job creation, and the overall competitiveness of nations. Third, IT generating firms are companies that are actively involved in the development, production, and sale of information technology products and services. IT generating firms can include hardware manufacturers, software developers, telecommunications companies, and service providers. What are the market capitalizations of the largest IT generating firms? Market capitalization refers to the total value of a company's outstanding shares of stock in the stock market. As of 2022, the market capitalizations of the largest IT generating firms have exceeded $1 trillion. Common examples include technology giants like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet, which owns Google, and others. At the top of the list are Apple and Microsoft, 
two companies that have at times exceeded $3 trillion in market capitalization. Of course, market capitalizations fluctuate due to constantly changing market conditions. Why should students learn about management information systems? Students should learn about MIS for several reasons. First, strategic decision making. MIS equips individuals with the skills to use technology strategically, aiding in decision making processes at various organizational levels. Second, efficient business operations. Understanding MIS enhances your ability to help companies become efficient by leveraging technology for streamlined business processes and to improve productivity. Third, competitive advantage. Proficiency in MIS provides a competitive edge in the job market as businesses increasingly rely on technology for their competitive standing. Fourth, innovation and adaptability. MIS knowledge fosters innovation and adaptability, crucial in today's rapidly evolving technological landscape. This class will cover four sections organized into 14 modules. The sections are data management, network management, organizational information systems, and emerging technologies. Data management involves the systematic organization, storage, retrieval, and protection of data throughout its life cycle. It ensures data accuracy, integrity, and accessibility. Data management topics covered in this class include first, spreadsheets, organizing and analyzing data in tabular form. Second, databases, storing and managing structured data efficiently. Third, data analytics, extracting insights and patterns from data for decision making. A data analyst is an example of a job in data management. Data analysts interpret and analyze data providing valuable insights to support decision-making processes within an organization. How is data management changing work processes? First, through automation. Data management tools automate repetitive tasks, reducing manual effort and enhancing efficiency. Second, real-time decision-making. Improved data management allows organizations to make decisions based on real-time data, fostering agility. Third, collaboration. Enhanced data accessibility promotes collaboration, enabling teams to work seamlessly across different functions. Fourth, securing measures. Evolving cybersecurity measures in data management ensure data protection, adapting to the increasing threat landscape. In essence, learning about data management and MIS is crucial for students as it empowers you to harness the power of data make informed decisions, and contribute to the efficient functioning of organizations in a technology-driven world. Network management involves the planning, implementation, monitoring, and optimization of computer networks to ensure efficient and secure communication among interconnected devices. It encompasses a range of tasks, including configuration, troubleshooting, and performance optimization. Network management topics covered in class include cybersecurity, which is the practice of protecting computer systems, networks, and data from unauthorized access, attacks, and damage to ensure the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of information. Next, computer networks and the Internet involve understanding the fundamentals of network structures and the global Internet. Next, social media marketing involves exploring the integration of networks and marketing strategies, emphasizing social media platforms. Finally, e-commerce involves examining the role of networks in electronic commerce, including online transactions and secure payment systems. A network administrator is an example of a job in network management. Network administrators design, implement, and maintain an organization's computer networks ensuring seamless connectivity and resolving network-related issues. How is network management changing work processes? First, remote management. Network management tools enable administrators to monitor and manage networks remotely, reducing the need for physical presence. Second, automation. Automated processes streamline routine tasks, such as network configuration and troubleshooting, enhancing efficiency. 
Third, integration with cloud services. Network management increasingly involves the integration of cloud services, facilitating scalable and flexible network solutions. Fourth, security measures. Network management adapts to evolving cybersecurity threats, implementing measures to safeguard sensitive data and protect against network vulnerabilities. In summary, network management is a dynamic field that addresses the complexities of modern computer networks and its evolution is shaping the way organizations operate and communicate in an interconnected world. Organizational Information Systems, or OIS, refer to integrated and interconnected systems that support organizational processes, facilitate communication, and aid decision-making within an enterprise. These systems involve the use of technology to manage analyze and distribute information across various departments and levels in an organization. OIS topics covered in class include first, business management systems, which are systems designed to support the entire business enterprise and its key business functions. Second, we will discuss using information technology for competitive advantage. Competing organizations must strategically leverage information technology to gain a competitive edge in the marketplace and enhance business performance. Third, we will examine the intersection of information technology and organizational decision-making processes, exploring how IT systems contribute to informed and effective decisions. Fourth, we will introduce project management software, which are specialized software tools to plan, execute, and monitor projects efficiently, facilitating collaboration and organization throughout the project lifecycle. Fifth, we will discuss IT acquisition which is the process of obtaining and integrating information technology solutions, encompassing strategies for decision-making, system development life cycles, and valuation methods to meet organizational needs. A systems analyst is an example of a job in organizational information systems. Systems analysts analyze organizational processes, assess information system needs, and design solutions to improve efficiency and effectiveness. How are organizational information systems changing work processes? First, OIS streamline processes, automate routine tasks, and facilitate quicker access to information, leading to enhanced operational efficiency. Second, organizations leverage OIS to analyze data and gain insights, supporting informed and strategic decision-making at all levels. Third, OIS promote collaboration among team members by providing a centralized platform for communication, document sharing, and project management. Fourth, with the growing threat landscape, OIS incorporate advanced security measures to protect sensitive information, ensuring data integrity and confidentiality. Fifth, customer relationship management systems are a type of OIS that focus on improving customer interactions and relationships, leading to more personalized and effective customer service. In summary, OIS play a pivotal role in shaping modern work processes by fostering efficiency, informed decision-making, collaboration, security, and customer-centric approaches within organizations. Emerging technologies refer to novel and innovative advancements in various fields, often characterized by rapid development and the potential to bring transformative changes to industries and society. Here we will discuss the behavior of innovations, often represented by an S-curve, which describes the pattern of adoption and diffusion of new technologies over time. The curve typically shows slow initial growth, followed by rapid adoption and eventually a slowdown as technology matures. Emerging technologies topics covered in this class include, first, the evolution of hardware, which entails the historical progression and anticipated developments in physical computing components, encompassing advancements in processing power, storage, and connectivity. Second, we will likewise discuss the history and future trajectory of software. This discussion involves the evolution of computer programs and applications, exploring how coding practices, software architectures, and user interfaces have evolved and continue to shape digital experiences. An example of a job in emerging technologies 
is a role in cybersecurity analytics, leveraging emerging technologies to protect digital assets, secure networks, and analyze potential threats in a dynamic and evolving digital landscape necessitating emerging technologies. Emerging technologies are reshaping work processes by introducing automation, artificial intelligence, and data-driven decision-making, leading to increased efficiency, adaptability, and new ways of collaborating in the modern workplace. What motivates information technology investment? Organizations within various industries are driven by multifaceted motivations when making investments in information technology. One key motivation is the pursuit of efficiency and productivity enhancements, where the adoption of technologies such as automation, data analytics, and integrated systems is aimed at streamlining processes and optimizing overall operational performance. Another compelling factor is the quest for a competitive advantage, as industries recognize the need to stay ahead in the market, investing in cutting-edge IT solutions becomes instrumental in differentiating businesses, attracting customers, and becomes instrumental in differentiating products, attracting customers, and optimizing supply chain management. Moreover, information technology investments serve as a catalyst for innovation, allowing industries to advance their products and services and secure a prominent market position. The integration of emerging technologies like artificial intelligence, AI, and the Internet of Things, IoT, plays a pivotal role in shaping industry trends and fostering sustained growth. In the realm of government, there is a strategic focus on leveraging information technology for various purposes. One primary area of emphasis is the improvement of public service delivery to citizens. Government invests in digital platforms, e-governance initiatives, and smart city technologies with the goal of enhancing public services and administrative efficiency. Additionally, IT investments in government often prioritize cybersecurity and defense systems, aiming to protect sensitive data, critical infrastructure, and ensure national security. The overarching objective is efficient governance, where IT investments work towards streamlining government processes, reducing bureaucratic inefficiencies, and fostering transparency. This includes initiatives such as digitizing records, implementing data analytics, and promoting data-driven decision-making across government functions. Households prioritize investments in information technology across various domains. For entertainment and connectivity, IT expenditures encompass streaming services, gaming consoles, and smart devices, while high-speed internet and smart home solutions further drive connectivity-related investments. Additionally, households allocate resources to IT tools for education and remote work, including online learning platforms and home office setups, reflecting the growing importance of remote work capabilities. Furthermore, health and wellness-oriented IT investments, such as fitness trackers and telemedicine services, play a crucial role in enhancing household well-being with smart devices designed for monitoring health parameters gaining popularity. Individuals make diverse investments in information technology to enhance personal productivity, encompassing tools like smartphones, laptops, and software applications that facilitate communication, organization, and task management. Additionally, IT investments in professional development, including online courses, certifications, and skill-enhancing software tools are common motivations among individuals. Social connectivity also drives IT investments with individuals using social media platforms, messaging apps, and various communication tools to connect with friends, family, and professional networks. This concludes your introduction to this course on MIS. I hope you enjoy the class.